Hi, I'm Gabriella Gustinelli. I'm an attorney with Berardi Immigration Law. Today we'll be discussing another successful TN that we had. Our client applied today at the Peace Bridge Port of Entry, which is about 20 minutes away from our office. In this situation, our client applied for TN status as a management consultant. Management consultants can be tricky cases because the government tends to scrutinize them a lot because the government really wants to make sure the person is coming in as a consultant and not coming here to work as a day-to-day -day employee of a company. Under the framework of NAFTA, a management consultant is someone who typically goes into a third-party work site for a short period of time so that they can assess what's happening and then on the basis of their education or their experience and the expertise they've gleaned over the year, shed, shed that light onto the company of ways in which they can improve operations or maximize efficiencies or do something that the company is currently at a loss for. With our client today, we were able to show that he was coming in to work on a project for this third party. Now this application was a renewal application and typically it's difficult for management consultants to go back for renewals because again, the thought is you're only going in there for short term periods of time. You should be able to wrap up whatever needs to be consulted upon in the initial period. However, when you can make the argument that there's actually a new phase of a project or there's something extending uh, the original assignment in the United States for which the individual's consultations are needed, we generally are able to obtain an approval. Another thing that made this case a little bit trickier was that there was a chain of remuneration from the client site, the third party, to a recruitment company that engaged our client services and then ultimately through to our client. And wherever there is a chain of remuneration, meaning that the individual is not working, getting paid directly by the end client, but through another company, it's always best practice to include contracts or other documentation confirming exactly how the flow of funds will be uh, affected. So we were able to do that. The client was able to show he had the requisite experience as prescribed under NAFTA to fulfill the position in the United States and he was renewed for another nine month period. He left happy, we left happy, and we are glad to help you or anybody else you know that may be interested in obtaining TN status. Please give us a call.